Welcome to this short overview of our course on forecasting and demand planning. If you are exploring the field of supply chain management, demand planning is an important function that you should understand. If you are working in related fields of marketing, production, inventory management and logistics, then this course will help you appreciate the relevance of demand planning to your own area of work. If you plan to make a career in supply chain management, the demand planning field has many job roles in planning, forecasting, model building, and demand analytics. If you are planning to learn a new skill, then forecasting could be a useful place to start. This is the first course that you plan to take in supply chain management. Then we would recommend starting with our Basics of SCM course, also available in Udemy. Forecasting is important for consumer-focused industries, including FMCG, consumer durables, retail, and e-commerce. Demand planning is relevant for almost every industry that produces something. Our course consists of three sections, and here are some short clips from each of them. Let us briefly look at the common manufacturing strategies. MTS, make to stock. When the product is well-defined and has a fairly well-established selling pattern, it becomes easier to predict the future and stock accordingly. Since the product is made and stocked in anticipation of sales, we can see that sales orders do not drive manufacturing, but the forecast does. For example, a car is an item of independent demand, while the steering wheel assembly used in the manufacture of the car is an item that has dependent demand. Dependent demand should not be forecast as it is possible to calculate it. Techniques such as MRP are used to calculate dependent demand. Line graphs, bar graphs and XY graphs are the ones most commonly used. It is helpful to study the time series graph shown here as it illustrates the various defining characteristics that we need to know in interpreting the graph. A time series graphically shows a sequence of data points measured at points in time spaced out at uniform time intervals. The trend is the long-term component that represents the growth or decline over an extended period of time. So we call this process sales and operations planning. So if you look at the sales and operations planning, as you can see from the chart, the first step is demand planning. In the demand planning step, we look at demand history, we look at market intelligence, uh, we look at inputs that we've got from the customer, and we create a demand plan. You've already uh, discussed forecasting techniques in the previous lesson, but we'll briefly touch upon it in this lesson as well. So, uh, you will apply the right forecasting technique, and then the third step is to generate the statistical forecast. The primary objective of demand planning is to accurately forecast demand for finished goods at various points in the supply chain so that inventory is available at the right time, at the right place and at the right quantity to meet the complete customer demand. We hope that you will sign up and gain useful insights into this critical part of the supply chain process. Thank you for stopping by and watching this video. Stay safe.